Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where I'm here at Park Warner Madrid for the first time since 2016. It's been over five years since I was last at this park and it's really nice to be back here on this wonderful entrance plaza. Of course you've got the fountain there just behind me, the awesome studio style entrance and yeah I'm looking forward to getting back inside this park. I'm actually going to be spending two days here at Park Warner capturing everything that the park has to offer including six roller coasters, spectacular shows, including including the Aquaman Nighttime Spectacular that looks brilliant. It's a lake show that I'm really looking forward to seeing. I remember when I came here in 2016, I'm um, seeing all the setup for the lake show because it wasn't on at the time. It just kind of runs in the summer season. I'm thinking next time I come to this park, I want to be here for the lake show. Well, here I am five years later at Park Warner and I'm really looking forward to it. I do love the entrance to this park, but blimey, it is going to be a hot day. Water rides are needed. Can't wait to get back on Rio Bravo, the crazy water ride, where I got quite a bit of air time last time I was here. Um, but yeah, the entrance is lovely to this park. Really like the fountain here. Brilliant photo opportunity. In terms of park hours today, from 12 until 12. So yeah, 12 hours, all the 12s today, of riding and shows here at Park Warner. Really looking forward to it. I arrived here on public transport this morning and you get some amazing views of the skyline as you're making your way to the park. And uh, yeah, if you wanna see how I got here via public transport, then check out the travel vlog that's now online here on Theme Park Worldwide. But yeah, gonna get in the queue, it's just gone 11.15, 45 minutes to go until opening, and we'll get inside the park. Here we go then, so it's just gone 11.30, the turnstiles have opened, and it's time to enter Park Warner Madrid for the first time in over five years. Love the entrance though to this park. Nice fountain when you get inside as well. Love it, right, best get my ticket out. Welcome to Hollywood, everybody. Oh yes, really nice fountain package. I remember this entrance being really nice, but I've forgotten just how nice. I mean, I love all the buildings around here. The Beverly Hills Bakery just over there. Loads of different shops and restaurants all around the side. Oh, it really is a fantastic entrance to this park. And I can't wait to get back on all the different rides here. That's why I decided to come for two days, just to kind of spread it all out a bit. I know I've got 12 hours, but there's quite a few shows to see here. And of course, just wanted to enjoy the park a bit more instead of rushing around. Two days gives you more time to do that, doesn't it? And look at some of the finer details here. Now in terms of filming here, of course I'm going to be able to film around the park and on some attractions. However, some of the bigger rides won't be able to take you on with the GoPro at this park, unfortunately. But yeah, this is lovely. It really reminds me a lot, actually, of Hollywood Studios at Walt Disney World. If you've been to that park, especially when you look off here to the right-hand side. And here you go, you've got a nice uh, version of the Chinese theatre. Just there, of course, that can be found on Hollywood Boulevard and also in Hollywood Studios. But yeah, really nice theatre down here at the entrance. But as always, when I come to these parks, head for the back first, because there's two B&M coasters down there to get on. Well, as expected, looks like we're gonna be in for a very busy day. Everyone's gathered down here for the rope drop. Is this it? Is this the moment? Here goes the rope. And we're in the park. Hey. And everybody goes everywhere. Right, down this way to the left. Gonna head down to the B&M coasters first. Of course, we got Batman and also Superman. So probably might start off with the ride on Superman first. I'm surprised that not loads of people are running, to be honest, that was quite pleasant. Here we go, right, let's make our way down. Of course, we'll come down to this part of the park later on, straight to the back. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought. I was expecting to run all the way down here, but no, there's like four people that have got down here to Superman. Yeah, no one's really running, so not too bad. Um, but yeah, I do love the vibe when you're coming into this park. Music blasting out, loads of great theming. I'd forgotten actually just how well themed this park is. It's great to be back and I'm going on Superman first. Like I say, unfortunately, on-ride POVs aren't allowed on quite a few of the rides. However, there's some family attractions, water rides and stuff, but I'll be able to take you on a little bit later on. Here we go then, inside the really nicely themed queue line for Superman. Yeah, it's great in here. Love all the theme in throughout this. To make our way down here, you got all the different uh, office desks just here as well. Very nice. Time zones up there. And down this way to the coaster. So yeah, it's a B&M Flawless opening day attraction, 2002 here at Park Warner. If I remember, this is a great ride. I mean, I love a good B&M coaster, especially a Flawless 
to be nice just to get some breeze to be honest because it's absolutely baking hot already this morning. Well, I say this morning, park open at midday. It's weird because obviously back home we just don't have that, do we? But here we go. Looking forward to this. Seven inversions. Oh, there's Batman over there. Look forward to getting back on that. And here we go. Let's uh, go and ride now. See you when I come off. Unfortunately, there's not loads of places to get off-ride footage with this one. But I'll try my best and get some for you from some angle. Which is there from my first ride of the day, Superman. Oh, that is an incredible BM flawless coaster. It's just so long as well. It's got so much packed into it. Brilliant first drop, lots of the classic BM inversions on there, interlocking corkscrews, Cobra roll, uh, zero G roll, and so much more. One of my favorite elements on that coaster is a little airtime hill where you get some serious ejector airtime, which is brilliant. Um, but yeah, what a great ride. Operations were good too, um, two trains, and yeah, they're getting them out reasonably fast. Um, but yeah, it was just fantastic to get back on it. It doesn't ride ridiculously smooth like a lot of B&M coasters, but in a way, that really adds to it because it's certainly not uncomfortable. It's just not a really smooth ride either, and that's probably due to the high temperatures, especially today. Uh, but no, really enjoyed getting on that. Brilliant B&M coaster. Let's keep on riding here at Park Warner. Down to the next Beamer, I think. Na 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 Batman! Down here then now in Gotham City. Look at the great theming. Oh, love it. So yeah, down here then now into the park's other B&M roller coaster. B&M inverted coaster. I definitely feel like I'm back in a Six Flags park in America now. Time for Batman the ride. Yeah, <laughs> here we go. Some great theming there around this park. You really do feel like you are in the movies. Love the music around here as well. Really adds to the experience. But here we go. Let's uh, head up to the station for Batman the ride. Looking forward to this. <laughs> Gotham City Police Department. Oh, just watch out for the umbrella there. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic scenery in here. No visitors allowed. Oh, no. So, I mean, I've got to turn around. Can I go on the B&M? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, great theming throughout this queue line. I like how the alarm goes up as well. I really do feel like this park is the closest thing that you're going to get to, like, a universal studio-style experience. Oh, the electric chair. Look at that. A cross between the Six Flags Park. So yeah, you know, it's kind of what this place is. Got a great atmosphere though. Love it. Oh, no, it looks like the Joker's been around here. scenery down there and it's got a great atmosphere with the audio as well but uh, here we go we're about to go on literally should be on the next train let's go and ride and I'll see you when I come on and it was absolutely great really good to get back on Batman used to be known as Batman La Fuga as in Batman Escape uh, but then they changed it in 2017 because they added VR to it and it was called Batman Arkham Asylum and it still kept that name now and honestly what a great inverted coaster five inversions packed in really good layout and of course I've done so many versions of that ride now especially since the last time I was at this park um, because over on the USA road trip back in 2019 did quite a few Batman 
around the rides with that layout. But you know what? I think it's a great layout. So at least when Six Flags did clone that layout at lots of their parks, uh, they cloned a good layout because it's intense. It's got so much packed into it. And it's overall a brilliant ride. Yeah, really enjoyed getting back on that. Weird really now, coming back here doing that after going on so many versions of it at Six Flags parks. You might be thinking, hang on a minute, how did one end up here? Well, the park, when it opened in 2002, was actually operated by Six Flags. So yeah, that is exactly why there's a Batman ride here. The theming in this park is really impressive. There's so much going on with all the theming and details all the way around the park. And so far, to be honest, crowds are looking not too bad. Like, don't get me wrong, uh, down at the entrance, it looked really busy. And people have spread out in the park now, but still, I was expecting it to be absolutely heaving from opening. Well, that's the beauty of some of these parks abroad, opening late. I mean, at midnight close, it means that people don't have to get here straight away for opening, especially as most people that come to these parks, they don't really want to go on every attraction. They might just go on some things, but yeah, got lots of entertainment to enjoy here. There's a stunt show that I can't wait to see. Along with that, the Aquaman nighttime show that I mentioned, I'm uh, gonna be watching that tonight. And uh, along with that, there's also a parade here as well. Remember seeing the parade last time, and that was okay too. So uh, yeah, we'll be, uh, checking that out um, at some point during this trip here to Park Warner. Well, howdy partners, and welcome to the Old West Territory. Now, this area of the park is home to an absolutely incredible water ride known as Rio Bravo. I was gonna head on it now, however, it's not yet operating. There's a member of staff out the front saying that it should be open later on. Fingers crossed, because that's one of the rides that I really want to get back on here, because it's a spectacular water ride. Was not expecting airtime like I got on it. Honestly, I got more airtime on that than half of the coasters that I've been on. It was crazy, more than half the coast I've been on. Honestly, Honestly, the airtime was absolutely insane on that. It was ridiculous, I couldn't believe it. Um, but yeah, also in this area, you've got a wooden roller coaster known as Coast Express. However, at the moment, it is unfortunately standing but not operating. It's SPNO. So as you can see, they've got this sign out here at the moment saying that they are improving the facilities. We apologize for the inconvenience. Now, track work actually started on this back in 2020 and is yet to be completed. So we know that it is gonna be reopening at some point, just unfortunately, not at the moment. Now I say unfortunately, it wasn't really anything spectacular last time that we was here, to be honest. So I don't really feel like I'm missing out on anything. Um, but it's always a shame to see a coaster SBNO like this, you know, so I really hope that they can get the work completed soon. Would have made a good RMC though, this one, wouldn't it? Um, looking at the layout there, they could have, you know, heightened the lifter a little bit and yeah, RMC could have worked their magic on it. But yeah, it's always a shame just to see quite a large coaster at a park, SBNO. So yeah, hopefully if they can get this sorted out for next year. I imagine the pandemic really hasn't helped them here uh, with the work that they were doing on it. Can't really see any visible work taking place here. Um, but yeah, maybe around other parts of the park we might get some views towards Coaster Express. But so uh, yeah, at the moment it's standing but not operating. I've just been chatting to the member of staff again down at the entrance to Rio Bravo. Really friendly guy. He was just telling me, yeah, they're replacing a part on there and it should be open again later on. So yeah, it's absolutely fine. At least he's honest. I like it when parks just tell you what's happening like that. You know, they're not kind of trying to brush over it. They're saying, no, we're replacing a part. It'll be back open later. Fair enough. Um, but yeah, you've got all the nice building style down here in the Wild West area. I absolutely love this theme. A lot of people who've watched the channel for a while will know that it's my favourite theme in a park. So, yeah, there's always uh, bonus points when a theme park has got a nice Wild West area. But yeah, I'm gonna head down this way because I really need to get on a water ride. Honestly, I'm like an hour into the day and I'm sweating already. So, hopefully, the rapids are operating. a nice ride over on the Tom and Jerry roller coaster because literally it was walk on so I thought may as well uh, get on there whilst it's nice and quiet. A little bit busy around in this area but still nowhere near as busy as what I was expecting. I absolutely love this spinning water feature. Oh lovely there we go. What a nice feature is that. <laughs> but yeah this here is the main family area here at the park. The cartoon village. Hey! <laughs> oh, I love that. You don't even need to queue up for it. Absolutely brilliant. Looney Tunes Park just over there. Make our way around this way. We've got the rapids. Can't wait to get on these. Of course, I'll take you along for a ride. 
We love a good water ride here at Theme Park Worldwide. And the rapids here is absolutely fantastic. Um, it reminds me a lot with the cartoon style theme of that of Popeye and Bluto's bilge wrap barges. Of course, over at Universal Islands of Adventure. And now I can also say the theme of the Adventure Cove Rapids at Drayton Manor back in the UK. It's got that cartoon style feel and it's just down this way. Here we go, welcome to the Acme Rapids. Oh, great to get back to this. Brilliant Rapids ride here at Parker Warner. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Here's a little off-ride look at the attraction and some of the great theming around. It's got some nice water effects, this Rapids as well. But yeah, if you love a good water ride, it's a good part to come to especially for this and Rio Bravo, like they are great rides. There is also now a water park here as well. Park Warner Beach is located right next door. It's only a small water park. It's only been here for a few years now, but yeah, I reckon that might expand. And I'd love to see them get some on-site accommodation here as well. Like, I think it would really benefit them getting a nice on-site hotel. Oh yeah, oh, they got a good spin. Oh yes, looking forward to this. On what is going to be a 37 degrees Celsius day, this is definitely needed. Oh, here you go. This is where all the crowds are. We're in the queue for the Acme Rapids, and I don't blame them to be honest. On a nice day like today, great theming in here. As much as it is a big cattle pen queue, I do like how you got this like monorail track running round at the top there, suspended monorail with lots of different themed items on. And it's nice and cool in here with the fans as well. It needs to be when you got a big cattle pen like this, full of people. But yeah, it's some nice theming. The whole ride's well themed. The whole park is, to be honest. But yeah, very nice in here. So many different items to look at whilst you're waiting. And to be honest, it's moving quite quick. I've been waiting about 10 minutes so far. Um, we're way outside. So yeah, maybe, uh, I guess I'm gonna say half hour, 40 minutes for this one. It'll be worth it though, and I hope I get soaked. the Acme Rapids. Yeah, waited 35 minutes for this one. And yeah, I think we're in for a wet ride. The boat is absolutely soaking. And there's nine of us in it as well. Yeah, I think we could be in for a nice wet ride. As you saw there from the footage in the station, it doesn't feature a turntable this into been Rapids. It's a bit different. And you start with the lift hill. Could be a soaker this. I'm hoping so. It's absolutely baking hot. So here we go. Let's find out. Acme Rapids. They're at Park Warner in Madrid. <laughs> Doing well for rides so far. Well, it's a slow start, it's a slow start, but honestly, when it gets going this, from what I remember, it's pretty fast, and we've already seen that from uh, down at the end of the ride. The boats have actually had some changes since last time I was here. To put the uh, higher backs on the boats. Oh, here we go. Oh, we've got a big wave coming up. Ah, is it the mega wave? Oh, wasn't me. Oh, love all this thieving around though. Oh, into the mine. Oh, hey, oh, right down my back. Lovely. Uh oh. Now you look at this effect, you think it's going to go off, but it's not. Oh, here we go. It's time for a soaker. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be rapid. Because <laughs> there's nine of us in, we should hit the waves quite good as well. Hopefully. Oh, oh my god. It's a good spinner. Oh, but I remember this being a good one. Oh! Absolutely soaked. Oh, this is just what you want on a nice hot day. Like I say, highs are 37. Oh, it's going to be hot. Here we go. Some more great theming around here. Oh. You're right, all that. Oh, here we go. Oh! Acme Rapids. Hey, mega wave. It's a good one. I love this. Yeah, because the fur the boat is all right, even better. I need to get a different mask. This one keeps slipping down. I'm like pulling it up all the time. Too late for this trip now. Ah! Here we go. Oh! Like me, Rapids. Oh, I love it. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, another one. Oh! So many effects. Oh, brilliant. Oh, oh my God, it's the mega wave. Ah! It's a rough waters now. Oh, blimey. Here we go. <laughs> oh, God. Brilliant. Really rough water. Oh, oh, my God. That was a jolt, that. Oh. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, I love that. 
Best ride of the day so far. What an absolutely yeah. awesome rapid. Is there one more in it? Oh, yeah, just a little bit. Acme Rapids. Oh, if you're loving a water ride, get yourself into Park of Water and come and give this a ride. Brilliant. Well, that was absolutely wild. Genuinely one of the best rapids anywhere in the world, that is. The theming, the speed of it, it's brilliant. I mean, I love a good water ride, especially a classic Intamin Rapids. But this one just feels so different to other rapids out there, um, especially from Intamin. Just the speed it gets. I mean, you saw me, you were literally flung about in the boat on there. It's a good job, to be honest, that they've uh, put the sides on there. I can't believe it never used to have sides on it before, to be honest, um, looking back at how it used to be. But uh, yeah, what an absolutely spectacular ride. So many effects on there as well. It's just constant hose water coming down at you it's just absolutely spectacular and if you love a good water ride get yourselves out here and come and ride that and yeah in terms of the operation on there was really impressed too um, you know only waiting that amount of time when you know it's a hot day like this I thought oh it's gonna be a long queue but uh, yeah you know about 30 minutes like not too bad at all for a hot day like this at Park Warner oh that was brilliant oh well there she is towering above the rooftops back over at the other side of the park then now and before I take on the Vacoma giant inverted boomerang, I'm going to be watching a show first because, yeah, it just took me nearly an hour to actually get my food and eat it. I can't believe it. Like, I waited 40 minutes to get some food, just a hot dog, fries, and a drink. It was only 11 euros, but, yeah, it took that long to get it. So, of course, by the time I've ate it, nearly an hour's gone. Like, I can't believe it. Um, but anyway, yes, I'm going to watch a show first over in this venue over here. Now, they have an absolutely awesome police-themed stunt show at this park. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. This is the first show that I'm going to be seeing here, of course. And yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing lots of entertainment, including the parade and this awesome nighttime show down here on the lagoon. But uh, yes, I'm going to go and watch the police stunt show. So yeah, it starts in about 35 minutes. People are already gathering out the front here. So I think it's best to just wait over at the side so I can uh, make sure I can get in. As I mentioned, down at Port Aventura and Tibidabo, social distancing is still a big thing at the moment over here in Spain. So show venues aren't back up to full capacity yet. So if you are coming out here in the coming weeks, bear that in mind. And if you want to see shows, get there early. But uh, yeah, I'm going to head inside the venue and I'll put in some highlights from the police stunt show. Looking forward to this.
Well, I've got to say, the stunt show there was absolutely fantastic. 35 minutes in length and so much going on in there. Brilliant stunt show, one of the best I've ever seen. It's so nice coming to these parks abroad because you get these big shows to watch. And I absolutely love that. Uh, but what a great show. I just want to say fair play to all of the team in there for putting on such a show in 37 degree heat. Like, it's absolutely baking hot. These are some of the hottest temperatures I've ever experienced in a theme park. So yeah, like, fair play to them guys in the show. They did an absolutely phenomenal job putting that on. But um, yeah, in terms of the stunts in there, it just kept on getting better, didn't it? Motorbikes coming out, cars monster trucks, lorries, you name it, it was going on in that show. It was action packed, um, not too kind of talking heavy either. It was just loads of big stunts going on and I really enjoyed it. Yeah, fantastic show. And uh, like I say, it really does make these European parks uh, abroad when you get big shows like that because I absolutely loved it. Up next then, it's time for another coaster ride. I've been looking forward to this one, it's Stuntfall. Oh, well, look at this beast. It's absolutely huge. They don't call it a Vekoma giant inverted boomerang for no reason. It really is giant. And yet it's only advertised at a 10 minute wait. But in fact, it looks like we're pretty much straight up to the station. It's nowhere near as busy as I thought it was going to be. Perhaps one day might have been enough here, but I'm not complaining that I've got two days so I can get those more re-rides in and uh, yeah, make the most of it. But this thing's absolutely massive. The giant inverted boomerang, this also opened back in 2002, however, slightly later um, than the rest of the park. But yeah, I can't wait to get back on this. Looks like it's had a repaint since I was last here. At least it's looking uh, very fresh anyway. Oh, here we go, the horn sounds. <laughs> and I'm gonna put in some off-ride footage of this beast. Look at the size of it. It's massive. Yeah, straight up to the station. Stuntfall is an absolute beast of a coaster. It was great to get back on there. Not once, not twice, but three times in about 20 minutes. Can't believe it's not got a queue. That was incredible. Really enjoyed getting back on there. I'd forgotten just how intense it is. And you've got a really different seating set up on there. Two seats next to each other, then two on the outsides. But, oh, that was great. And it might not be silky smooth, but it's really intense. And that feeling, of course, of going up vertically, then just releasing. And the same again when you do the layout backwards is pretty incredible. Three inversions on there, the huge loop that's over 100 foot tall and also the Cobra roll as well. And of course, then you take the full layout backwards. Incredible, really enjoyed getting back on Stuntfall. Oh, that was brilliant. I'd say, you know, after doing it again, probably my favorite ride at the park. Like there was just something about that that I really enjoyed doing. Um, just so intense. And don't get me wrong, it's not silky smooth, but it's not really rough either. It's just a standard kind of, um, you know, roughness for that ride. But it was very intense. I, I loved it. You know me, if something's pretty smooth, uh, and also intense, it gets plus points from me. Brilliant, I'm blown away with that. Speechless, on it, oh, it's going again. I'm gonna put in a bit more footage because that was brilliant. Still can't get over how good that was. I had to go and have another ride, didn't I? Especially with it having no queue. Four rides on Stumpfall in less than 30 minutes. I'm not complaining. But I'll tell you what, this is the hottest I've been in a theme park for a very long time. Oh, we're gonna get some good views now on the SNS shot and drop towers that you've got right in the middle of the park just there. Absolutely huge. Three towers all joined together, really nice. But some of these buildings down here 
are stunning, they really are. It's got such a nice vibe about it, this park. I think it's really underrated, in my opinion. You just don't hear many people talking about it. And I think the fact that, really, it's not a resort, that's why a lot of people haven't been here. If they put in their own accommodation, I think it would be really, really popular. Well, just before I make my way up to them shot and drop towers, I thought I'd show you the lagoon just here, because it's beautiful. Love the water tower over there in the background, all the buildings. You got like this oil rig area over there as well. And lots of tech for this show tonight. Aquaman, the nighttime spectacular. There's a helicopter over there. I can see all sorts of effects um, down here. So I'm really looking forward to it tonight. It's at 11.40 and the bus back is at 12.15. But from um, knowing a few people that were here last week, apparently it's about a 20 minute show. So literally it's watch the show and head straight out the park. But can't wait for that tonight. Just thought I'd show you this here in the daytime though, before it gets crowded later. And of course it's at night, you know, and all the lights come on. Cause it's lovely. It really really gives you them universal style vibes around here, doesn't it? Especially down the bottom end of Universal Studios, Florida. That's what this kind of reminds me of around here. So you got Mr. Freeze down here, which is a very nicely themed wave swinger, like all the icicles coming off the side. And then this is where we get down to the drop and shot towers. Yeah, they're quite awkward to get to actually. Like you come off the main path to get down here. Yeah, these look pretty quiet. Looking forward to this. Here we go, are you ready for Sean's awful pronunciation skills? La Vanganza del Enigma. Is that right? I don't know. I'm going on, I'll see you when I come off. lovely views of the park and the surrounding area from up there and only waited five minutes as well so I had a couple of different rides round. In terms of how many towers were operating only two out of three and for some reason the two towers that were on were both the ones that take you up slowly and then launch you back down and they don't just drop you they do actually launch you back down um, but still it would have been nice if the uh, shot tower was working as well. I'll tell you what is open now though, something that I loved back in 2016. I couldn't believe it, I nearly got flung out of my seat. It's Rio Bravo. Honestly, I am so happy to see this thing operating again. It was probably the highlight of the trip last time. I couldn't believe it. There's a backwards drop on here and it is ridiculously intense. You go over like an airtime hill just to see this ride again in all of its glory. And of course, something that's very close to my heart, this ride, because I love Valhalla back at Blackpool Pleasure Beach in the UK. It's been closed now for two years. And this is basically Valhalla. Like, it's the exact same ride system. I mean, look at the boats, manufactured by Intamin. Enter Valhalla, it's Rio Bravo. Oh, I can't wait for a good soak in. Advertised queue time of 50 minutes, which I don't think is too bad considering it's such a hot day like this. But I'm gonna go and join the queue for Rio Bravo. And oh my God, I cannot wait to get back on this. I'll be making sure I'm holding on tightly this time. Well, the queue line for this really gives me those big Thunder Mountain vibes with all the rocks around and the big building just over here. Oh, I'm really looking forward to getting back on this. It's gonna be worth the wait. And of course with this one, I'll be able to take you along. It's time for Rio Bravo here at Park Warner. <laughs> Bring it on. Well, here we go then, 45 minutes later, and it's time to ride the adventure here on Rio Bravo. The closest that I'm getting to Valhalla until next year, of course, when it reopens at Pleasure Beach. But yeah, 45 minutes. Absolutely smashing the boats out. Bear in mind they do have a fast track service here as well. So quite a few people were going in through that. But yeah, I think 45 minutes is good for a day like today. <laughs> as much as I'm looking forward to this, I'm quite nervous for this backwards drop. Is it going to be a repeat of last year? Saying that I do know what to come. I say, well, last year, last time I was here, five years ago, sorry. But yeah, like you think from an off-ride perspective, oh, you just go up here and then you come down the big drop. But as we know, that isn't quite the case here on Rio Bravo. 
<laughs> Here we go. I really need a mask that fits me, don't I? Because we don't have to wear them back home. Like, I just picked up any old masks that I could get really for this trip. And yeah, it's not fitting me very well. Oh God, here we go. This is it. So yeah, we make our way inside the rock work onto a turntable. It's a backwards drop. I've noticed they're not actually loading up any of the back seats on this ride. Oh God, here we go. That's where we're going down there. Get ready. Oh, I'm actually really nervous now after last time. I don't know how this is going to feel. Here we go. I'm holding on. Literally one hand on the GoPro, one hand holding on. Here we go. Rio Bravo. This is the moment. Oh, God. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. That is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Oh, my God. That was absolutely crazy. We've come to a stop though here now. We haven't gone back onto that turntable. So I'm not too sure what's going on. I don't know if we broke down and we're going to get evac'd. Honestly, it's like typical Valhalla this is. <laughs> See what happens. Honestly, this is really giving me Valhalla vibes. We've just come over the tunnel and in Spanish said that there's some technical issues, or at least I think that's what they said anyway. Um, so yeah, I've been here about five minutes just chilling out in this lovely uh, Valhalla boat. Lovely. <laughs> oh God. I wonder if somebody be along soon. Are we going to get evac'd or what? We will find out shortly. Here from Rio Bravo, Park Warner. Well, there we go. After about a 10 minute stoppage, we're now back in action here on Rio Bravo. Well, that was exciting, wasn't it? I was hoping for it behind the scenes. I mean, we'd have the best bit of the ride, the backwards drop. But at least we're going to get the big soaking now because, yeah, I've just dried off sitting there. Some nice bits of theming around here. Some TPs over there. <laughs> Oh, honestly, give me them Valhalla vibes. Just the ride system. Obviously, the theme is completely different, and a lot of this ride is outside, but oh, it's brilliant. Round into Dodge City now. All the gravestones, some nice bits of theming around here. Really nicely themed attraction. Can't remember much about this bit, actually. Sounds busy in that saloon, I know that. Can I have a drink? <laughs> I've got another big water ride to go on, but I'm going to save that one for tomorrow. A couple of dark rides coming up tomorrow as well. I'm going to save the parade for tomorrow. So, of course, we saw the stunt show today. I'm going to be watching Aquaman tonight. Oh, here we go. Right then, time for the big drop now. Climb up through the mountain. Well, no fire effects to see in here, unfortunately. But here we go. Down the big drop now. It's time for a soaker. Good turn table. Oh, there he is. I forgot that there was a turntable even up there, to be honest. I thought we were going straight down. But we're not. Here we go. Woo! Lovely. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Not quite as wet as Valhalla. <laughs> well, that'll do. A nice cooling down. Oh, beautiful. Really enjoyed that. And yeah, we had about 15, 20 minute ride there. It was a long one. Oh, I tell you what, I really enjoyed getting back on there. And the stoppage just made it even more authentic. It felt just like Valhalla that day. Like the same ride system and everything, same boats. And even with a temporary stoppage, it's got Valhalla and Intamin written all over it, hasn't it? But no, I really enjoyed Rio Bravo. One of the best rides in the park. Well worth coming out here just for that, especially if you love water rides. Anyway, I'm going to do a couple of re-rides now. Fancy doing both of the B&Ms again. Maybe another couple of laps around on Stumpfall. Um, so I'm going to do some re-rides. Like I say, I'm going to save some of the rides for tomorrow for day two here at the park because there is going to be a day two vlog and so uh, yeah still so much more to discover here at this wonderful spanish park so i'll see you a bit a little bit later on and uh, yeah the sun's starting to go down a little bit earlier now it's only just gone seven o'clock but um, it's nowhere near as bright as it was so i'm a bit cooler now so i want to have a bit of a cooler ride on the b m coasters see how they ride uh, now it's not quite as hot and i'll see you a little bit later on Well, 
the sun is going down now here at Park Warner and oh I'm so pleased that it is it's been so hot today unbearable at times just had another awesome ride over on Superman waited about 40 minutes that helix at the end oh it's so intense what a great coaster and also out on Stumpfall again and Batman and I'm just about to go and ride Invertatron here we go Lex Luthor's Invertatron if we move over this way I'll show you what it is if you haven't guessed already from the sounds and the psh, psh, something that we don't have back in the UK anymore because they've all closed but there's still quite a few out in Europe at these parks a good old Hus top spin yeah look at this love a good top spin oh it's a theme park worldwide favorite unfortunately you don't get that many of them around these days back well it's none back home but at, at many parks still quite a few in Europe but they're a dying breed unfortunately yeah look at that what a beauty it's not particularly the best themed this one It'd be nice if it had some water or something underneath but it is what it is it's a nice big ride still nice squeaky ride <laughs> see I'm gonna go and have a ride around on here now oh the cycle doesn't look the best does it oh is that it oh no it's flipping over again we're all right uh, but yeah there's only a couple of hours to go now until the big nighttime show aquaman so yeah looking forward to that so i'm going to get there quite early and get a good spot for it tonight well the cycle's not looking uh, up to much here is it but i'll go and join the queue and we'll see what it's like Well, if this doesn't give you Universal Studios Florida vibes, then I don't know what will. This is the closest experience that you can get, in my opinion, uh, than without going out there to a Universal park. The top spin was okay, not the best cycle on there, as expected from what you saw in the off-ride footage before I went on, um, but it was still nice to go on there. To be honest, with how it's riding, um, and making a lot of squeaky noises, don't know if that's gonna stay operating for very long, to be honest, but uh, they are a dying breed, unfortunately. Still, I do really like them, and Talican at Fantasialand, I don't think that's gonna be going anywhere anytime soon of course that's one of the more modern versions of that classic Hus ride um, but yeah I love it down here that much so I'm gonna go and take my seat shortly there's just over 90 minutes to go until the Aquaman show really looking forward to this so I'm gonna go and uh, yeah just have a little set on the wall over there um, and get a nice position for the show tonight tomorrow night I'm gonna watch it again most likely but I'll just kind of turn up last minute tonight first time seeing it I uh, wanted to see this for many years I want to get a good view for it and of course capture the experience for the vlog as well then tomorrow night I'll get some night rides in have a good walk around and see the park all lit up in the dark because like I say never seen this park at night before so also want to see that want to do the likes of Batman at night Superman um, maybe Stumpful so yeah it's just tonight we're going to prioritize this show and then tomorrow do some night rides and then kind of nip in last minute for the show well I tell you what I've been having an awesome day but it's just got even better finding one of these beauties a milk and muffin oh I just got one from the bakery down there I've not had one of these for so long honestly the one of my favorite ever cakes a Sean special so I'm going to tuck in for this and wait for Aquaman oh well the vibe is wonderful here tonight what a fantastic evening park and I'm looking forward to tomorrow just walking around the different areas and soaking it up at night but like I say I'm going to get in position now ready for the Aquaman show really looking forward to this about 70 minutes to go until showtime it's at 11:40 down here on the main lagoon but yeah look at this absolutely love the vibes down here at night and of course in tomorrow's vlog we're also going to watch the parade hey theme park worldwide on YouTube how you doing you have a nice night enjoy the show <laughs> But so, uh, got some friends down here now. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow, just covering them other bits. There's a couple of dark rides to get on here as well, Scooby Doo dark ride. Um, there's a madhouse here to ride. And uh, yeah, quite a few other bits too that I'm looking forward to sharing. But yeah, this show looks brilliant. Um, it's honestly, it looks stunning. Like loads of different water effects, actors down here, fireworks, fire. Can't wait for it. So uh, yeah, I'm going to get in position. And coming up shortly, some highlights from Aquaman. ciudad sumergida está gobernada por Aquaman, Mera, heroína con extraordinarios poderes. La prioridad de ambos es mantener la paz entre ambos mundos.
la reina de Atlantis percibe que una amenaza se cierne sobre la bahía de la amnistía junto de la superficie. prevalece en los momentos más oscuros. El mayor defensor del océano llega a tiempo de salvar la bahía de la amnistía.
pensar que volverías. Tú eres el responsable del daño que ha sufrido este punto de Armata. Esto terminará ahora. Ni lo sueñes, Aquaman. Voy a disfrutar viéndote morir. Fallo en el sistema. Fallo en el sistema. más, las fuerzas del mal han sido derrotadas y el mundo está salvo gracias a estos superhéroes. Tú puedes ser también un superhéroe, difundiendo el mensaje para proteger nuestros maravillosos océanos y el resto de nuestro increíble planeta. Celebremos la victoria en honor de nuestros héroes. spectacular 20 minute nighttime show that was. I absolutely loved it. It was so much better than what I was expecting. Bear in mind, I know a few people that have seen it over the past couple of weeks during the summer. I said, oh, you're gonna love it, Sean, all the tech in there. Well, I'm blown away. That was absolutely incredible. It was the music, the lighting, the storyline, everything came together in an absolutely fantastic nighttime show. I mean, what more could you want, really, from a, a nighttime spectacular? It was brilliant. The fire effects, the fireworks, the jet skis. That's like my dream job. Can you imagine getting launched up on them? Like, I don't even know what the technical names are for them. Uh, but you know, it's like the, the water pressure kind of goes down into the floor and then raises them up, well I say the floor, into the water and shoots them up. I don't know, like does the water then hit the floor of the pool to send them up? I don't know how it works, but blew me away that. What an absolutely brilliant 20 minute show. So much going on, um, and yeah, what a way to wrap up 
Park Warner. Like that, that is a world class show at a brilliant theme park. Like honestly, it was stunning that was. Can't get over just how fantastic it was. Um, I loved it. So yeah, um, thank you so much for joining me in my uh, day one vlog here from Park Warner. I'll go more into the wrap up of the park tomorrow. I'm just blown away with that show. And of course I need to get out because I need to get on my bus because there's 10 minutes until the bus departs and it's the last bus of the night. But uh, no, honestly, that was brilliant. Like, if you love nighttime shows, come to this park. It was like Disney, that was. Like, you know, honestly, I'm just blown away. Words can't describe how awesome it was. And this park at night, I mean, well, I mean look how bright some of the lighting is around here. Crazy, like all neon strip lights around. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. Of course, getting back on Superman, Batman, Stunt Ball was brilliant. And tomorrow is gonna to be all about doing the couple of dark rides. There's a Scooby-Doo interactive ride here. Along with that as well, gonna be doing the madhouse that they've got at this park. Um, we'll see the parade tomorrow as well. So much more still to discover here from Park Warner. But look at this park at night, like I can't get over it. I'm just blown away, like I can't get my head around that show. Like for a park like this, uh, yeah, don't get me wrong, it's a great park, but that was a Disney Universal style show. Like, I don't even think I've seen a Universal show what's blown me away as much as that. World class that was, absolutely loved it. Thanks for joining me here in day one. Come and join me for day two here at Parker Warner here in Madrid. And uh, that leaves me with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. See you tomorrow's vlog.